Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use Excel to call an API. And so the API we're going to use in this example is a data.gov API. And if you go to api.data.gov, you'll come to this page here and there's tons of different uh, APIs that you can access here. Uh, but first of all, some of them need an API key. So to get that, we're just going to go here uh, and sign up for the API key. So just uh, enter in your details there and hit the sign up button. And you should get an email that looks like this. And it contains the API key. So the API key is just um, kind of like a password. And it allows you to access the API. Um, so the API we're going to take a look at is this uh, National N Renewable Energy Laboratory API. And so if we just click through, uh, we're going to go to the transportation page and then the alternative fuel stations. So uh, and then we're also going to go into the nearest stations API. So basically this will just allow us to query their database and return a list of fuel stations uh, that meet certain parameters and get the data for those uh, fuel stations. Uh, so here we go, we have the uh, documentation for the API. So basically there's just a list of parameters that you can pass the API and then their corresponding values. So for example, if we want um, fuel stations uh, within a certain location, so for example, maybe Toronto, we would pass the parameter location and equals Toronto. And there's tons of these different parameters that we can use. So for example here, access, and maybe we want to return all stations that are publicly accessible. And yeah, you can take a look at that documentation and play around with different parameters that you're gonna pass. Uh, going back to this email here, the example that they actually suggest is this nearest fuel station. So I'm just going to copy my URL, and that has the uh, my API key in it already. So I'm going to copy that, and then paste it into the browser, and add an ampersand on the end. And I'm just going to go back to the documentation here and select a few things. So I'm going to query the location. Equals Toronto and Ontario. And then I'm also going to query maybe um, status and equals e that was uh, so the station is open and carries alternative fuel and uh, fuel type Fuel type equals electric and I'm going to do one more thing there's a limit here so I'm just gonna only limit this query to uh, five results I'm just going to copy that before I do anything. And now if I press enter, oh, 
So it returns something, but actually there's no data in here. And I think it's because I need to add in the country code as well if I'm querying Toronto, Ontario. So I'm just going to add that in. CA. Okay, let's just check everything. Tr location equals Toronto plus Ontario. Status equals E. Fuel type equals electric. Limit equals 5. And country equals CA. And I'm just going to copy that again. And I'm going to press enter now. And yep, there we go. So we've got a lot of data here. And I guess this is five. Uh, the, the data for five fuel stations, but it's pretty hard to read. This is actually a JSON format, so JavaScript object notation. And yeah, I find it pretty hard to read, but that's okay because uh, Excel actually has a JSON parser in Power Query, so we're going to be using that. All right, so now if we want to call this in Excel, I'm just going to close that. Okay. Yeah, calling um, the API for from Excel, we can do that with the from web query. So go to the data tab and then in the get and transform data section, select from web. And then just paste in the URL that you created and press the OK button. And now Excel has recognized that the output was uh, JSON format, so it's already gone and used the JSON. Uh, doc, dot document parser and as you can see there's a bunch of uh, records here or pieces of data and this is uh, kind of the metadata of what was returned so uh, total results we had 59 but of course we're um, we limited ours to five results and then down here, this is what we're actually interested in, is the fuel stations. So this is a list. And if we click on this list, it's going to show those uh, the list. And it's a list of records. So each of these is actually several columns of data. Uh, first, we're going to convert this to a table by clicking this button up here. And now we're we're actually going to choose no delimiter. Um, press OK. And now it's created a table, and each record, each item in that table is a record. Uh, that's why we didn't want to use any delimiter, because we just wanted the, uh, the record to be uh, one item. Uh, but now we're going to be able to expand this, each record. So I'm going to go ahead and untick this here. Uh, I don't want any prefixes for my column names. Uh, these, these column headings here will be sufficient as they are without any prefix. And then I'm going to press the OK button. And that's basically just uh, expanded each of those records out into a different column. And as you can see, there's a lot of data here. So things like the time of day you can access, the fuel station, um, etc. Now we can close and load this to a table. And that's going to bring the data into our familiar uh, Excel table format. And that's it. That's how we access a, an API from Excel.
with the from web query.